gonna be talking right now are things that I find useful when you take your baby for a swim either in a pool or a beach and you'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Mela and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon below so you don't miss anything. It's summer still. Um, actually, Kara and I just got home from a morning swim at Stargate um, Dream Vacation Resort after her pedia gave a go signal that it's okay for her to go for a dip, a quick dip, provided that the um, car's head will not be submerged into the water and splashes of water will not come con in contact with her eyes. Um, so that's it. Um, what we're gonna be talking right now are things that I find useful when you take your baby for a swim either in a pool or a beach and you'll start right now. So first is, of course, swimwear. Now, I, I find this swimwear very cute and trendy and it's IG friendly as well. Yes, guys, it's for the gram, but Kara haven't used this yet. Um, actually, I bought um, two swimwear. This one is long sleeve. I like this so much because it, it covers Kara's skin. Um, less exposure to sunlight means less application of sunblock, right? So, um... I was looking for a baby bodysuit, um, but I couldn't find one. So if you know where to buy, please leave a comment below. Next is um, this swing diaper. This is very useful and hygienic because it will keep the peas and the poo inside. Now you can find disposable swing diapers like Huggies, but um, I think reusable um, diaper diaper is a good one. Next is this um, sunscreen, sunblock. Um, th this is Kids Max 100 SPF. Um, this is hypoallergenic and sprays diet. What I like about this is it's paraben free, and all you have to do is just spray and lather it a bit, and then um, apply it on your baby's skin like a lotion. What else? Third is this rope towel. Now, what I like about this is you can easily put this on your baby once he or she is out of the water. And you can use this as a cover as well every time she changes clothes, right? What's next? Next is wet wipes. Now, I like to bring wet wipes every time we're out of the house um, because it's hygienic and um, it's easy to use in this pose. Um, other mothers recommend the water wet wipes, but I haven't found it yet here in Kalin de Oro, so that's why I'm still stuck with this nursey baby wipes. But it's okay, um, it's still, um, it's okay because it's also alcohol free. Uh, what else? Next is, of course, food and water. Um, always remember, mothers, that when you go out of the house, always bring water with you. Um, when your baby is um, six months above, or it depends on your pedia, <laughs> but uh, always bring water with you because um, babies are very prone to dehydration compared to adults. So that's why you keep this. Uh, you always bring this and constantly give your baby water, especially if they're exposed to um, to the sun. Oh, by the way, before I forget, um, when you use, when you uh, when always remember that um, you cannot use sunblock or sunscreen to babies that are less than less than six months old. Okay, because baby skin are so sensitive. Sensitive. Next is this baby neck floater. Um, I find this very cute and useful 
school because I am well assured that my baby is safe and her head will be submerged to the water and it's easy to inflate too. And last is this wet bag. Now I don't know what brand is this, even was my friend, but I'm sure you can find many cute bags up there. Um, it's easy to use and reusable to just put the wet clothes inside and put it directly in your bag or inside your hand. That's it. Um, these are the things that I find very essential for your baby during the summer. So let's recap. The swimwear, swim diaper, water, sunblock, wet bag, neck floater, and that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more tips. Once again, this is Nella. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your summer, guys. Bye!